Hello everyone. Today, I will demonstrate how to quickly and correctly set up NordVPN on your iPhone or iPad. If you have already purchased a subscription and do not want to delve into the settings, this video is for you. I will demonstrate everything step by step. No technical jargon, just straightforward instructions. Step 1. Download the app. Open the App Store and search for NordVPN. Find it and install it. The app is small and installs quickly. Step 2. Log in to your account. If you already have a subscription, just log in with your email and password. If not, you can buy it directly in the app, but I recommend getting it through the website because first you can get a 68% discount and three months free through the website. Second, you can get your money back within 30 days. The link with the discount is in the description and in the pinned post. It's better to sign up there first, then go to the app. Step 3. Permissions and Connection When you launch NordVPN for the first time, it will ask for permission to add a VPN configuration. Just click Allow, enter your phone password or face ID. That's it. Now you can turn on the VPN with one click. Next, click the big Quick Connect button and you're in the tunnel. The app automatically selects the closest and fastest server. Want to choose a country manually? Tap Map or All Countries. Select, for example, the United States, Germany, Japan. And you're there. For streaming, Netflix, Disney+, Plus. choose the United States or the United Kingdom. Everything will open. Step 4. Advanced Settings Want a little more control? Go to Settings. Enable Auto Connect so that the VPN turns on automatically on public networks. Select a protocol. I recommend Nordlinks. It's the fastest. Enable Threat Protection Light. Blocks trackers and ads directly on iOS. Step 5. Check that it works. Open your browser and go to whatisamyip.com. If your IP and country have changed, everything is working. You can launch YouTube, streaming, torrents. Everything is encrypted. Important. Even if you minimize the app, NordVPN will continue to run in the background. The VPN icon will appear in the top corner of the screen, indicating that the connection is active. Tip. If you want only your browser to go through the VPN and not other apps, you can use split tunneling. This is currently limited on iOS, but will be available in the future. Conclusion NordVPN on iPhone is really simple, works quickly, doesn't drain the battery, automatic connection, tracker blocking, and server map. One subscription can be used on up to six devices at once, including your phone, computer, and even your router. If you want to try it, follow the link in the description to get 68% off and 3 months free. Plus, you get 30 days to return it if you don't like it. Enjoy! If the video helped, like and subscribe, and in the comments write which device you use VPN on most often.